In this video, we'll be demonstrating the importance of water insufflation in the EUS evaluation of a subepithelial lesion. A 26-year-old asymptomatic male was referred for EUS evaluation of a subepithelial lesion seen in the duodenal bulb on EGD. The echoendoscope was advanced to the duodenal bulb, where the subepithelial lesion was visualized. On EUS examination of the area of the subepithelial bulge, a normal appearing pancreatic parenchyma was visualized without clear visualization of the subepithelial lesion itself. Therefore, water was instilled into the duodenal lumen using a syringe in order to obtain better delineation of the layers of the duodenal wall. Following water insufflation, an oval shaped subepithelial lesion could be clearly identified with the same echogenicity as the surrounding pancreas, consistent with a pancreatic rest. Note the small anechoic area in the middle of the lesion, suggesting the presence of a remnant duct. These are the discussion points pertinent to this case. Is water insufflation important for evaluation of all subepithelial lesions? Which echoendoscope should be used for evaluation of subepithelial lesions? Are there any advantages of using a mini probe over echoendoscopes? What are the characteristic echogenic features of different types of subepithelial lesions? When is US evaluation inadequate in the assessment of subepithelial lesions? If you like the answers to all of these questions, and watch 45 exciting cases just like this live, register for the 5th Annual Orlando Live US 2017 in Orlando, Florida.